Hi, this is Simon Candy from AcousticGuitarLessonsOnline.net and today I want to extend on an earlier video I did on a technique known as harp harmonics. Firstly, I'd like to thank you for the overwhelming response to the first video on this topic. Um, it received a lot of views and lots of positive feedback and I really do appreciate all that. Um, if you haven't seen the first video yet or you're new to this technique of harp harmonics then definitely watch the first video because it will give you all the basics of the technique. You'll then be able to come back to this video and fully comprehend and understand what we're going to be covering today. Okay, so today we're going to be extending on the arpeggio pattern from the first video. So just a brief recap first. Um, the pattern that I was showing you in the first video had you playing a harmonic on the sixth string, open third, harmonic on five, open second, harmonic on four, open first, harmonic on three, then we started to descend by playing an open first, harmonic on four, open second, harmonic on five, open third, harmonic on six, open four. So all together. Okay, and then we proceeded to take that pattern and apply it to fretted chords. Okay, now what we're going to do today is add a lower extension and an upper extension to um, increase the range of the arpeggio. Now, it's going to sound really cool and you're not going to have to move your fretting hand at all to get quite an extensive range with the arpeggio that I'm going to show you or the extensions that we're going to add. And I'll show you that very clearly in just a moment. For more ways and ideas of applying harp harmonics to your chord progressions and your, and your guitar playing in general, click the link below the video in the description and download my free ebook, Five Breathtaking Harp Harmonic Chord Progressions for Your Guitar Playing. All right, so I'm going to demonstrate this extended arpeggio on an A minor seven chord of sorts. And I'm simply going to get that chord by barring the fifth fret of my guitar. So for the lower extension, we're simply going to be playing the lower three strings of this chord with the index, middle, and ring fingers in that order on the sixth, fifth, and fourth strings. So the lower extension will simply be the sixth, fifth, string with those fingers all natural fretted notes then we go and connect into our arpeggio pattern from the first video and run up the chord until we get to the harmonic on the third string we play that and then to play the upper extension we simply play the harmonic on the second string and the top string we don't alternate the harmonics there with regular notes because we're running out of strings to do that with so the lower extension is simply all fretted notes no harmonics and the upper extension is all harmonics no regular notes okay so let me put that together ascending for you you've got the lower extension into the arpeggio shape into the upper extension there Okay, and then to come back down, we simply just come back down the way we went up. We play the harmonic on two and three, then start to come down our arpeggio pattern, and then finish with the lower extension. Only, of course, this time playing strings four to five to six. So let me do that ascending and descending for you so we can put all that together. Now just to demonstrate how much range you're actually getting there without even having to move that fretting hand, if I was to play all those notes with just regular fretted notes, no harmonics, then I would have to cover quite a range of, you know, quite a, a distance on the fretboard. So this is what it would be. So I'm having to play up and fret notes to the top string and then move all the way up to the 17th fret and all the way back down again. So really difficult to do if you wanted to build a bit of speed into it. And of course you don't have the cool sound of harp harmonics. I can do it with the extensions. Okay, so that's what is so cool about harp harmonics. To learn more ways to apply harp harmonics to your guitar playing, click the link below the video in the description and download my free ebook. Okay, so like we did in the first harp harmonic video, we're going to take the extended arpeggio pattern here and apply it to some other shapes. 
which is the next step. So let's say I have a D9 here at my fifth fret. I can take my extended arpeggio pattern and apply it to this shape like so. Or I could take a G major 13 chord shape here and do the same. Okay, what you've got to make sure you do, as we learned in the first video, is visualize what your fretting hand is forming down here 12 frets higher so you get access to the harmonics in the harp arpeggio um, patterns that we learned. The next logical step after that would be to apply the extended arpeggios to a chord progression. So let's say we had a chord progression that has an A minor chord, a D9, to a G major 13, and to an E9. We can take these arpeggio patterns and apply them to that chord progression. It's just not going to be the case that you have time most of the time to um, run the whole range of the arpeggio, but that's not really what you want to be doing anyway. The idea is to access different parts of the arpeggio as you apply it to each chord of the progression. So let's say over the A minor, you start from the lower extension and take it up a certain way within that chord. Then when it goes D9, we could perhaps come from the upper extension down the chord. And then perhaps on G major 13, we start from the lower extension again, but go a little higher. And then into the E9. Perhaps we have time or we speed up to fit more of the range um, of the arpeggio pattern. It really doesn't matter. It's up to you. The point is that you're taking the extended arpeggio pattern here and applying it to a chord progression. So let me do that a little bit more for you, um, demonstrate a little bit further uh, over a backing track that uses that chord progression. Okay, cool. So there's some ideas of how to apply the extended harp harmonic arpeggios to um, some chord progressions. Do take these ideas and experiment yourself. Um, the way that you're going to master things is through application. So you've got to take these ideas I'm showing you and apply them yourself to various chords and chord progressions. A good place to start would be to click the link below this video and download my free ebook five breathtaking harp harmonic chord progressions for your guitar playing and you'll see other ways to apply harp harmonics to your guitar playing it's a really um, harp harmonics that is is a really cool sound it's a very unique sound very sophisticated sound it adds a lot to your guitar playing and it's well worth exploring and we're just touching the surface here if you haven't uh, subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, then feel free to do so to receive regular notifications for upcoming future videos. Um, for more acoustic resources um, covering all sorts of topics, visit my website, acousticguitarlessonsonline.net. Thanks for watching today. I hope you enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.